Hello, this is going to be a video on how to see if your geckos are pregnant and how to get, how to say what sex they are. Sort of how to tell if they're pregnant or not. Basically, this is the easiest way of how to tell. You see that she is properly pregnant there. So you only have to do that quickly and you can see that she is properly heavily pregnant. So then you should always provide a laying box. I've just got earth in there, she's ready to lay so I'll just put it back in there into her little tub there. So and hopefully she'll lay tonight. So Right there we go. And this is how to tell if gecko's a boy or a girl. You can see them little ball things, those are is hemipenes. And that little pause thing share the holes. That's I see oh, I forgot what it's called then. Um anyway that's how you can tell if the boys were they're boy or a girl. The balls were they're hemipenes. So, so that's, and then the way that you can tell if they're a girl, they've got nothing there, nothing, so that she's getting ready to lay again, but she's not ready yet, because she's only laid a couple of weeks, day, well, a couple of days ago, but she's properly pregnant, so I'll put her back in the hide, she actually will go in, right there. So they take between after mating they take about two or three weeks to actually get properly back into laying again. But after when they lay their eggs it takes about two weeks for the eggs for the developer before they lay their eggs again. And this is basically what you should be looking for. Just put it coming down quickly. Right, these are good eggs. You can tell that they're good eggs because they're properly firm, and you can tell that they're properly nice white. Right there, the lines for because that's the way that they have been laid, so and they can't be moved. So otherwise they will die and they'll drown. But this. That's how you know they're bad. They start getting moldy, they dip, and they start getting into a funny colour. And they smell pretty bad. So I'm going to have to get rid of those. So that's pretty much how you can tell the gecko's prick. Not how to tell the sex of them. And I so tell if your eggs are good or bad, basically everything you need to know about breeding, well prior to breeding and well quickly say so, so basically all you need to do for breeding can in cooling periods, um or you don't have to if you don't want well I'll just put them in annotation or in the description below I'll just do that. It saves a lot of time, I think. So, hope you have a good one. Good night.